in an operation led by the Ministry of Health, Tobacco Control Program, and Kabale District Local Government and Police, 23 smokers were apprehended in Kabale District. The crackdown targeted individuals violating the ban on public smoking, covering various streets in Kabale and trading centers in Kamgang Sub-County and Katuna Town Council. The suspects primarily found smoking in public spaces such as bars were taken to Kabale and Katuna police stations for detention. <laughs> The operation also extended to shops, supermarkets, and hangouts where appropriators were warned against publicly displaying cigarettes. And at this point, we are giving you a warning. The yeah. moment we come back and find on this spray, no, no, it's okay. Yes. 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 But it's Patients Mutesi highlighted that despite the law permitting smoking only 50 meters away from the public areas, Kavale has witnessed variations, including the public display and sale of cigarettes to those below 21 years. Uh, being here this evening or tonight, is uh, we are trying to enforce the Tobacco Control Act of 2015. The act came into force in 2016, and among the so many provisions is... Uh, it's, it entitles everyone to a smoke-free environment. Uh, the, the Tobacco Control Act tells us that we should not smoke in public places, in workplaces, in transport uh, terminals. So therefore today, tonight we came as a team to support the district to move around and try to enforce the act. We were able to go to different hospitality places, different bars and restaurants. And um, I want to applaud Kavale for all the places that we've been to. At least we have not found any shisha. Kavale, I am sure, is one of those places that has not yet started that bad habit. So let's use this as, a, as our example, that this bad habit. We know that shisha is a, one, it is banned by the law and that smoking shisha is more dangerous than smoking the cigarette itself. That's, that one puff of shisha is equivalent to a hundred cigarettes. Who would want to take that in? So the people of Kavale, please keep it up and um, if in case you're, you're hidden them, we shall come for them. But for now, we want to thank you for keeping Kavale a smoke-free city. Dr. Gilbert Mateka emphasized the UO approach of enforcement and public sensitization to communicate the health hazards associated with smoking in public places. We are enforcing a smoke-free environment. Uh, there we are encouraging people not to smoke and therefore go to public spaces and make sure that there is no one smoking in those areas and we encourage all hotel owners, club owners, anyone who owns a public space to make sure that it is safe and it is a no, a no smoking area. Uh, so we discourage people promoting smoking. So if you find that you are selling cigarettes openly, you are cautioned or even arrested. If you have anything like a smoking zone, you have in the as these ash trees, all that we don't encourage to be in public spaces to make sure that we are not promoting any smoking. Anyone wanting to smoke should be more than 50 meters away from another person. Because as we all know, uh, tobacco smoke is very dangerous to our health, is highly associated especially with lung cancer, not to mention many other uh, health complications that come from uh, tobacco smoking or being exposed to, to, to tobacco smoke. And unfortunately, what we call passive smoking, that is when somebody else is smoking and you are breathing in the smoke that is coming from their cigarette, even from their streets, you are even more affected by this smoke. A story by Jonah Namara, Nobatinyama Chifokiges TV.